dish soap meanwhile is still rolling it down to zero and what does he have for it right there's so much gold on this bench but none of it's on the board getting sona zephyr as well it's hard to dodge zephyr is playing long distance pals gonna be going up against Kurum here who if that darius now can get some resets coming through could close out the fight yeah, it's very close. He might get the... He dodges the Sona oh. just barely, and he does get the win. And if you look Man. on that bench of Kurum, he still had another Darius 2 and an extra Darius. I think he was at 7. He needs to find two more, and he's at 95 HP. He's got so much time. Dish soap spots. It looks like he might just be going eighth. Nine losses in a row. Kurum... I need Kaisa too. Okay. I mean, I don't have Slayer. So I'm pretty sure it's just this, and I pay for Gwen Adams later. But I also only have two challengers, so maybe maybe, maybe it's Gwen Adams. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Dish Soap, 2 HP, barely won that last round off of, you know, back of that Senna too. And now we get a chance to look at the whole entire board here. It is fully changed up. It's a long distance palace between Gwen and Kaisa. This is that flexible TFT that you don't go into a game thinking, all right, this is the comp that I'm running, but it's the comp that Dish has ended up on. He has some of the most recognition of how do i make my board as strong as it can be even with not playing these standard spots dish soap how much farther can he go this is the kind of thing i feel we see dish soap and setsuko do more than anyone else right this is the i was playing something it wasn't working it was contested let me sell the whole thing and try something new and being able to turn it into something that might work is beautiful to see oh. finding that senate too big damage from the gwen she made the back line but one more cast from the Huge. kaisa is enough dish soap grabs another placement vanilla down Kurum looking to try DQA and, and milk on the chopping block but between dish soap and dqa someone's going out yeah dqa has done a great job capping this board out the juggernaut on that jarvin makes it so tanky as well but the gwen has made it onto the akshan there is a very healthy Kaisa still. Kaisa. She gets the auto, takes him down, and gets the cast. It's not oh. quite enough to get through the Lissandra the yet, autos. but the autos are. And just barely Dish hangs on. This is a top four that I do not think many players in the world would have been able to make happen. But Dish Soap did. He is not many players. No, it is just a Dish Soap diff making that spot into a fourth absolutely disgusting just showing the mental fortitude of getting eighth a couple times and and you know trying to stave off that tilt just says nah i'm gonna play the best damn game of tft that you've ever seen even if he doesn't win the lobby this game has been so so dang impressive yeah she does so much damage there but the darius is still just full health resetting through dish goes down we've got a cut scene on the other side of this fight as well so milk has fallen and it is just Kurum versus Robin, but congratulations, Kurum X, the winner of Freljord Cup.